You are now watching Showbiz Snap, your daily showbiz update. Kamakailan lamang ay nag-trending at naging usapin nga po sa social media ang pagkakalagay nga po ng pangalan nitong si Angel Luxin sa isa nga pong module ng isa nga pong eskwelahan kung saan ay sinabi nga po dito yung physical education and the situation. And nila, Angel Luxin is an obese person. She together with Coco Martin eats fatty and sweet food in Mang Inasal fast food restaurant most of the time in her house. She always watching television and does not have any physical activities. Doon nga po ay may question na, what do you think will happen to Angel if she continues her lifestyle? Two, how do lifestyle affects the health of an individual? Actually, mas na bother po ang mga netizen nang mabasa nga po itong English kung saan ay may wrong grammar pa. And of course, ang pagkakalagay po ng pangalan ni Angel Luxina kung saan ay eh, wala man nga lang ba daw fictional kumbaga. Pwedeng Juan de la Cruz, Juana de la Cruz, kundi pangalan talaga ni Angel Luxin na kung saan ay pinangalanan siya as ubis or sinabi na ubis. So alam na po ng lahat kung ano yung ubis. Kaya naman mga ilang araw ang nakalipas, e eh, narito na nga po ang statement ng DepEd about nga po sa nangyaring ito. Sabi ng DepEd, or Department of Education official statement this has reference with the most with the post circulating on social media involving the Deaf and School Division of Occidental Mindoro which drew reaction from the public upon initial investigation this office found out that the said material is not contained in the self-learning module or SLM Develop and quality assured by DepEd Central Office. The said material is a teacher-made assessment for a grade 10 MAPE class purposely to measure a specific competencies of the learning area. Assessment of the learning outcomes in a particular subject is a primordial responsibility of a teacher. Development of tools for such assessment is an academic freedom every teacher enjoys. This is without prejudice to the fundamental principles of task construction which involves social content in which one of our teachers may have not met the standard. We would like to express our sincerest apology to the concerned individuals which may have been offended or harmed by this incident. The Department of Education does not tolerate nor condone any act of body shaming and hominin or any similar act of bullying both in the physical and visual environments. This office had already communicated with the concerned teacher and gathered facts from him. Rest assured that this matter will be given serious attention. Meanwhile, we appeal to the public to spare him from any ad hominem attacks as this single mistake will not define him as a person. We appreciate the feedback from the public for us to further improve the delivery of basic education in the province of Occidental Mindoro. It has been our strong commitment to provide quality education to all our learners as we navigate through the challenges of the new normal. Thus, we engage everyone to help us improve our modular distance learning delivery by giving feedback through the following. Yan po ang naging mensahe ng DepEd at panghingi ng paumanhin. Hindi man po nila inindicate doon ang pangalan ni Angel Luxin, pero obviously, yan po ay tumutukoy kay Miss Angel Luxin since siya nga po yung naging tila parang model sa nasabi nga pong module. Humingi din po ng paumanhin ang uh, DepEd at nakiusap sa mga netizen na spare yung teacher at huwag siyang i-judge. Well, tama naman. Yan po ang ating showbiz na update. Ano po ang sabi niyo sa ating article na ito? Ilagay ang inyong opinion sa ating comment section dahil yan po ay mahalaga sa amin. Images are all credit to the respectfully owners.